website, you worked with Team Cybergeist on a track. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't really find any info on it. What? It hasn't. It's not complete yet. Okay. Yeah, he's just been like working on the little thing right there. Any info you can give us on that? I don't know any what he's doing. I have no, no idea. <laughs> don't know what it's called. Don't know. Uh, I think I call, uh, what did I call it? He's probably just gonna change it anyways. But it was um, uh, what was it? Some, I guess something like I've come to end you all or something like that. Yeah, I am here to. Oh, it's, I am here to end you all. I think is what it was. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if. Yeah, well, so Every time I talk to him, he's an angel. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, no, I love it. I'm finishing it. Right I mean, I said what I sent him is very unlike the other stuff that they've done. It's right. like it's actually pretty like pop, pop yeah. heavy hook. I think he's just a little bit like this doesn't really fit with the rest of our stuff. He seems pretty diverse in, in who he works with, though. So yeah, but it all does kind of fall into that same yeah. sort of like style, because you know, ultimately he's the guy like yeah. you know, taking all the parts and yeah. stuff. So that'll be interesting to see if it. Yeah. If and when it comes out, but it's like so. I don't know. To me, his like it's a really interesting project he's got going. But it it kind of reminds me of the whole pig face thing. Like you know, he's the drummer and he's got all these guest musicians. <laughs> yes. Well, he's a programmer too. True. Well, yeah. so is Martin too. So yeah. That's his so it's but you know, let's be honest. Pig face is toast. I mean, it's done. So yeah. Why not? So we got a new one. I don't think there has to be a new one. Anyways, yeah. you know, shit. It's just a, it's a similar project, but it seems like he actually gets more diverse with who he involves. Yeah, he definitely leans it. more like towards the you know metal side too. Yeah, you know, it's like I mean he's a dope, so obviously that yeah. gets some access yeah. to a bunch of like other people that, that even Martin doesn't have access yeah. to or wouldn't have access to. You know, but, I mean Pig Face. I mean as far as I know, is done, is totally done. Yeah, I don't think he can even, like get together another tour if he wanted to. Yeah, it's all from people that we. Talk to about him. It doesn't seem like I even really want to work with him much anymore. Yeah, I mean, obviously he doesn't even really want to work with himself. The new Pig Face record wasn't even on his own label, so. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know there was a new one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's funny, actually, we're playing like, tonight at Chasers. Um, when this place used to be at the Atomic Cafe, when we signed our deal with Mercury Polygram and Slipdisc in 1998, Invisible wanted to sign us too, and he actually flew out here to see us at the Atomic Cafe. And we sat in the backstage right there and with him giving, giving us an offer, mm -hmm. you know, right here. We we're like, yeah, yeah, you know, think about it. And we thought about it for a few minutes. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I think he's. I mean, he's a really good guy. He's smart. He's an amazing drummer. And right. Yeah, he's definitely a good drummer. I don't. I don't think but. he really vibe well business wise. Though. Yeah, that seems to be most people's issue. Yeah. With him. But uh. It's been a few years since we heard anything from Graphic. Is that project dead in the water? Or? It's not. No? Okay. <laughs> it's just like, we just get, the whole idea was to have like a great female vocalist on yeah. it. Like, um, I'm working with Bill, this guy Bill Sarver on it, and we're both really big fans of like, you know, Zero Seven stuff, and that big female vocalist. We just haven't found that singer yet. Right. We found a girl uh, from Austin who's really, really great, and she sang on a couple songs, but she just kind of like fell off the map. She was like, I don't want to do music anymore. Yeah. So we've just been sort of like lazily hoping to stumble across somebody <laughs> while yeah. we've been doing all this other stuff. And I mean, the music is ready. We have like, I think 13 or 14 songs like right. done. We just need someone to sing on them. Yeah, I, um, think, I think if I had, if I remember right, you had said that some of the music has gone to new Hellbent stuff? Yeah, that's the other side too, is that there's sort of talk about like, well maybe we should just make this the new Hellbent record. Right. Because the music's done, you know, we could easily flip it out to like people and have them put their touch on it and it would be finished and done, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm having internal sort of struggles with that. I go yeah. back and forth. Depends on what time of day you ask me, <laughs> you know. One side of me is like, yeah, I want to do another Hellbent record, and the other side's like, why do you want to try to raise that beat, you know? Yeah. You know, let that thing just go where, where it was. Right. You know, move on. But, you know, it's hard because when we come to shows and there's fans that are like, oh my god, oh my god, you know, I'm like, God, you know, we should give them another record, you know. Yeah. But, well, you're doing <laughs> like a three song set after, at the end of the night on this tour, right? Or we'll see. Not. <laughs> it's been I, no, devastatingly I, just terrible. I saw something that's like, yeah, we're doing it on every day. And like, well, that was the intention. Yeah. Uh, the intention was to do Hellbent every night. And right. When we got to Vancouver and started our rehearsals, mm -hmm. we all realized that that was like, 
through that, that timeline was so compressed that right. we didn't get a chance to fit in rehearsals for Hellbound. So we're like, okay, well, let's just rehearse it for the first few days. We'll do it during sound check. Right. Never happened. Yeah. So we're, I don't remember where we were, but one night we were like, fuck it, let's just do it tonight and just see how it goes. And it was a disaster. I mean, it was terrible. It was awful. Yeah. I mean, I was just, I, want, I was like, I don't, I just want to press stop and like walk off. You yeah. Know? Stop. I'm done. Show's over, you know. But yeah. then we did, uh, <laughs> we were like totally unprepared for Milwaukee. Milwaukee it was like, hell, man, hell, man. We're like, oh my God, how are we going to do this? So Jared walks up with a, you know, he's holding a lyric sheet, you know, and I've got like cheat sheets in here and stuff. And we're like, this is going to be awful. We're just warning everyone. <laughs> And it, I mean, you know, yeah. people seem to be like happy that we're doing it. Right. It is pretty terrible. Yeah, it's definitely like for me, I'm really struggling with it because I feel like, you know, Kim Lab and Sixty Volt have been flopping, you know, flip flopping headline spots. Right. Like and I feel like it's sort of like um, Jared may have already said this, and I think it's funny. It's sort of like a like a feather boa going up against a steamroller. They're both amazing things. Yeah. But they're both very different. So. You know, if Jared closes a night, it's like he is a showman. He's like, you know, Cam Lab has this great history, really good people in the band. Mark Plastic is an amazing guitar player, super cool to watch. Their stage presence is just really awesome. Right. And Jared, of course, I mean, you know, he could do it all by himself. He doesn't really even need a band. He's just an amazing, you know, performer. And Sixty Will is more just like, on this tour, is more just like, bowl you over, no frills, just pure, just like, you know. Right. And we're done. We just leave this like wake of destruction. And um, and then to come up and do Hellbent after that feels very like, you know, weird. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like well, it, it's sort of. I feel like whether we close the show or whether Kim Black closes the show when it's done, when those two, either of those two bands is done, it's like you go shit. That was fucking crazy. Yeah. And then to put Hellbent on, it feels yeah. like you're putting an opening band on at the end. Right. You know, because yeah. it's just not we're just not ready. It's not ready to go. I yeah. certainly am not proud of it. You know. So it makes it a little yeah. freaky when fans are like, help it, help it. Because we never want to let down those people. Yeah, you know? yeah. And there's been a couple promoters who have like, you know, said, Hellbent, I think tonight. They're like, yeah. Hellbent. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, no. It is on tonight. Yeah. No. There's no, no, there's no. no. So. Yeah.